here. It's close enough. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are getting started with mocking some stuff up as well as installing some stuff. So stick around for the whole video. As you guys can see, I removed my factory intake right now. We got all the components right over here. Now on this video, there's a few things I wanna do. The first thing we're gonna talk about is installing our transmission cooler. I know you guys know, I know you guys, if you know, if you guys know what I mean, I'm installing a transmission cooler on this car because this is an 8th gen Civic with an automatic transmission and going turbocharged with an automatic transmission is not ideal so to keep things cool working properly we're installing the transmission cooler we're also draining and refilling the transmission with factory automatic transmission fluid ATF DW1 this is a synthetic fluid we're also going to be replacing the transmission filter right over here these are inline transmission filters part number here if you are interested I'm hoping we have enough holes that came with the kit in order to install this properly at the same time what we're gonna be doing is rerouting this coolant line as you can see this coolant line is kind of attached to a vacuum line right over here from the from the intake so we're just gonna bypass it got already a line right over here and this line is going to go in place from here go directly to the throttle body and this is again a coolant line so we're, we don't need all this this is since it's like welded together on a bracket this is no good we're going to remove that we're going to try to mock up some of our piping over here uh, coming off of the throttle body we're going to see which pipes work the best which angles work the best again we got to make everything work we have the mass airflow sensor and whatnot. We gotta get everything mocked up properly, including the blow off valve here. And then if we get to it, we might mock up some of the intercooler here. Um, again, this is just testing right now because once we get the turbo installed, there's gonna be adjustments that need to be made. So I'm gonna get started right now, just replacing that coolant line. This is going to sit right on top, and I can still feed it into the factory bracket right there. Very nice, looks good. Holder intake, as you guys can see, I cut off the resonator that used to be here. Alright, so this would sit in the wheel well here and just get that cold air straight in here into the intake housing so pretty cool DIY if you guys are not trying to pay for an intake I try to change my transmission fluid every 20 to 30,000 miles so everything should be nice and clean in there all right got the transmission lines out now this is a tricky part there's a clamp that holds this filter down down there it's a 10 mil once you get that filter off your best bet is not to go and undo the first clip here right behind the filter it's actually to go undo the second clip that's going further down because you have way more access to this line and that's about it we're gonna take the clamp off replace the filter put it back and put everything back together got the old filter out right here 
mocking up the new filter ready to install all right guys I got the filter back in there installed mocked up so now we're gonna drain the transmission line right over here to bypass it for the transmission cooler and there's a couple lines here that go into this uh, heat exchanger if you may these are coolant lines the top one's a coolant line the next one in line on the left is a coolant line it's the bottom one that's the transmission line that we will have to tap into so I already undid it as you can see it's draining it now into my catch can there and then we're gonna tap it in soon and just another angle of what I'm trying to show you guys it's this is the trans line right there going in here it's the bottom port of the transmission uh, cooler right there so we're gonna have a feed there going into the uh, external cooler and from the external cooler back in here we got bullets garage helping us out right here spilled a little bit of coolant but we're mounting that trans cooler right over there as you guys can see we're not doing it in front I think it's much more stealth in the back there perfect fit it's actually sitting on like the radiator support right here so that's gonna be yeah it's gonna sit right on top of it and then we got these lines right here so we'll squeeze it here to make sure it's nice and tight and that's gonna be it then at that point we're gonna cut the transmission lines to length right because we still got a, a big line right over here luckily that line that came with the kit is long enough so I'm happy I'm happy progress tell you guys is the importance of your mass airflow housing right right now if you can see this is the aftermarket housing it's actually smaller than the factory housing so the mass airflow sensor readings are already going to be off and you need to recalibrate it now with boost and a smaller uh, mass airflow sensor housing it's never a good idea it's gonna make the mass airflow sensor read out of range quite quickly with boost pressure and the smaller diameter piping if you're running a three inch that should be fine but uh, at the end of the day you're gonna have to run a map uh, map tune instead of the mass airflow sensor tune or at least with the three inch you can run a hybrid between mass airflow sensor adjusting the parameters of fueling down low low rpms and then going into higher rpms it's going to transition using the manifold absolute pressure sensor which is right here behind the engine all right guys i got good news i got bad news bad news is that this intercooler piping isn't really a direct fit whatsoever um, the second thing is these are not mentral belt bent you see the, the cracking here that just reduces airflow but I mean okay that's to be expected from a hundred fifty dollar piping kit now this area right here where our intercooler is gonna have to feed through as you can see it's pretty darn tight we're gonna have to definitely move out this AC line try to lift it while maintaining it and maintaining its connection because I still want to retain that air conditioner unit now as far as piping man this is not a direct bolt-on whatsoever I'm thinking about see all these couplers I thought there would be one that goes through the throttle body but the throttle body is pretty much a two and a half inch and then you would probably need a 90 to a two inch right we already bought two of those for the intercooler right because these are these are two and a half so we, we got two coming in once they come in I'll be mocking it up over here with the 90 and essentially what I'm trying to see if it will work is if I put that 90 coupler here cut off cut this pipe really short right here 
connect it to the 90, right? In a sense like this, our mass airflow sensor is going to go first because this is a blow by mass airflow setup. And once that is done, we're going to attach the blow off valve somewhere here. You know, maybe put a another two inches of piping here that we cut off from that one into here so the clamps can hold. I know it's not the most um, appealing because it's like coupler, 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 and then another pipe may go down right there something along that line may work and then I can still use the vacuum source here for my oil catch can I don't know guys I don't know this is gonna be quite challenging I'll tell you that much and especially running the, the intercooler piping down through here getting all the fitment correct I'm guessing we're gonna be doing cutting maybe some pie cuts eventually I just gotta learn how to do it all but we might have to cut it, do some pie cuts, weld it. So yeah, I mean that's the progress. I'm gonna try to mess around some more with this, try to get that intercooler kind of mocked up. But uh, not as easy as I thought. I thought the intercooler piping would be the easier part in this whole scheme of things, but it's definitely not. So let me guys, let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks into mounting this. And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, good news, guys. I picked up these Hyundai wheels. You're ruining all my videos, I swear. I picked these up about a year ago for an amazing price, man. I got all four of these for $40. And a year later, investment paid off. I got somebody coming right now, pick all these up. We agreed about, we agreed on $300 cash. And again, guys, this is how I hustle sometimes to afford turbo projects like we're doing right now. So. Fortunate enough, another great wheel flip. And you know, I've been flipping wheels for some time. Every flip, I make some money on that. So we got a package the other day and we got our 90 degree two and a half to two inch adapters here which is great. I got the bumper mocked up. I was playing around with some of these couplers here. I think I'm going to need to order one more for the throttle body fitting. So then I'm going to just essentially the way I have this routed is I'm going to have my 90 there. Then I'm going to have almost no piping in there just so it's connected and clamped down then I'm gonna have my mass airflow sensor here and then my blow off valve would be next the intercooler piping is just gonna be a shit show I'll tell you that right now but as long as I can get this side going into the intercooler working I'm sure the other side we can fab up with whatever parts we have left over at least I want to get that side down and I got the intercooler mocked up in there as you can see not too bad overall it's pretty good the only thing is my plate is right over here and I think I'm gonna have to relocate it back to the factory location then the reason for that is one I'm blocking a lot of airflow for the intercooler and two that transmission cooler is right over there as well and with the plate being there it's blocking all the cooling for the transmission cooler so yeah that's gonna get repositioned here I'm gonna take the bumper off right now and go from there now as far as the intercooler kit man you guys can route this so many ways I'm just trying to make it most efficient with the piping that I have so right now on this side right here is that 90 coupler going into the 
two inch to two and a half inch reducer for the mass airflow sensor. Again, reducing back to two. This is eventually where I'm gonna keep the blow off valve right here, but it's, it's a little tight, so I'll probably have to cut some of the rubber couplers here. And again, we're gonna have, I'm gonna cut like a maybe three inch section of two inch piping here, just clamp it underneath inside so it's nice and tight. Again, we'll, we'll probably need some extra piping here and here to clamp everything down. It's gonna look all probably like couplers, but I mean, there is piping underneath it. And then we got the long pipe right there. And that's going right over here, as you can see. There's pretty, pretty good amount of room right over here. I mean, uh, we might have to trim some of this coupler here as well, but overall it fits pretty good right here with this pipe. And I'm liking it. I mean, this, this side here will work. Again, we'll just need to cut up probably, you know, we'll have to dedicate a pipe like this, cut it, and use some of these straight sections in between these couplers but then I don't want to run into a situation where I don't have enough couplers or where I don't have enough piping left for this side of the turbo here I ain't here for the money I ain't here for the fame so it might be nice to own a jet plane I'm gonna do it all for you come along